We get to play as uh, Tennessee Kid next, right? I think. Probably. Fly the whistle by the key! <laughs> oh, God! It's my ear hole! Uh, I think I have more to go! Yes! Okay, Bentley. Glad I could help out. There is going to be a mask in this level, I just realized, and surely, unless I missed it in the Carmelita portion, it's going to be during Tennessee Kids bit right here. Oh yeah, there's definitely going to be one in here, without a doubt. <laughs> Time to pay old toothpick back for stealing the gold I should have took. Yeah, that was my gold to steal. Who does he think he is? Oh, toothpick. Sorry to cut you off there, buddy. Oh, you best believe I am. There's a mask. There might even be two in this section. Excuse me, pardon me, need this. That's mine. Why you're doing this. You're thinking, what am I getting out of this? Well, I wanted to. Hey, I found some gold! How about that? Faster, Murray! You got it, Chum! Deadball, welcome to stream. How's it going? Keeper steady! This is so safe. This van does not have enough space for this gold and these Great people. Job, Tennessee. We'll keep this safe for now. Thank you, Cartoon Great. Physics. Keep moving forward, Tennessee. Oh, I'm on it. If anyone knows how to rob a train, it's your boy Tennessee Kid Cooper. Ain't no one better at this job than him. Hoo-wee! This heist is gonna be my biggest yet. Tennessee Kid's well, magnum opus. After this one. Tennessee, you're so young. You have so many more capers you can do, man. Why retire now? Oh, there's Toothpick again. My word, this dude just loves the sound of his own voice. Did someone's stomach just grow? What was that noise? There's another mask! I knew it! I don't think there can be more than two masks in one mission. I might be wrong on that. Maybe there's like one mission that is like, this one has three for some reason. But I don't think that's the case, so we just gotta make sure we get that one. Oh, it, I thought that... Because of the room that we just did, or the little bit that we just did, I thought that the way that would work is that it would go up and then immediately like jump back to the bottom, like how this one does. But uh, that is not how it works. I should have waited a second to see. Yeah, see, like, this one, it doesn't come back at you. It resets back to the start. And I thought that's what this one would do. It would reset back to the bottom, so I needed to jump, like, right when it got to the top. Not the case. Not the case. Whoops, I misclicked. Tennessee can't retire until he finds a hot sheriff fox. You know what, Jet? You make a really good point. There we go. Chaos, if you were to use the Digivolution line as a partner that hasn't been used in the anime, uh, Doramon. Doramon is my favorite Digimon. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta go back here and get this mask. Hey, toothpick. Shut up. Faster, Murray! You got it, Chum! I can't believe you guys are out running this train right now. Keep her steady. That's it, Murray. Come to daddy. Okay, Tennessee. 
We'll grab the rest once we stop the train. Yes, you're almost there. <laughs> Time to pay old Toothpick back for stealing the gold I should have took. I'm gonna wipe that smirk right off Toothpick's face. We are going to wipe Toothpick's smirk right off his face like seven times. I think this is the last go of it right here. Oh, actually, we're already done with stealing gold. Nice. Why don't you bring your little runt self down here and take your whooping like a man, Sheriff? Oh, blast you! Secret Cooper! I'm -a gonna lock you in the deepest, darkest hole! And I'm going to throw away the key! Give it up, Toothpick! The fat lady is sung and you are done! Oh, am I? Hey. My gun! No! Oh. <laughs> Thanks, kid! Blue Paradox sends his regards! Adios, Egypt! Relax, pal. I'll take care of this. This man said Egypt. It's boss time! It's all over, Cooper! Uh, excuse me? Why can't I do anything? Oh, there we go. Watch those lasers fly! Why does everyone use lasers? Lasers are cool, dude! Oh, wait, wait, wait. I remember. Okay, so I need to hit all these, right? Oh, is that the best you got? Boss battle time, lads. Like Did you forget your glasses? I know the whistles are the key. I got it. Oh, by the way, he can, like, eat Mario mushrooms and get giant, apparently, for some reason. Man, this takes me back to fighting Sir Raleigh. You guys remember that in the first game? How he would bloat to gargantuan size and crush you like a bug? See you later, sucker. Dude, you are on fire. What a dumb armadillo. What did you just say? Wow, that blew up like Let's a meteor. You like my bang, bang, boom, Maybe I should do the rolling move to do this bit, but I feel like this works better. What do you mean, who? You saw me do it. You were watching. Like, did you turn off your eyes? That hit me. That like caught the edge of my hitbox. No way to jump these twisters. I'll have to avoid them. I mean, we can jump these twisters though. You're talking about the big twisters? Yeah, those twisters. Oh dear. We're good, we're good. How does he have power over wind and gigantification? I feel like you have to pick one or the other. You don't get to just have both. That's ridiculous. Ooh, he called me scum, chat. It's all over, Man, this guy is yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I don't think that's the right way to do it. I think this is better. Wait, get on the ball. That was close. Bad, bad, bad. He has a gun? Okay, we're good. I, like, I don't know how to explain to you that I'm the one who turned on the whistles, like you saw me do it. This perspective is so wonky to me. Okay, we're good, we're good. I hate how low on health I am right now. Oh, I jumped too late. What? Okay, I wasn't prepared for that. It's fine, I'm just building suspense. See, look, we win with just a, a smidge left. GG, idiot. Stop. Why? We got a real problem. 
I think I just took care of that, Bentley. No, why? The train! It's headed for a broken bridge! I'm guessing that wasn't part of the plan? Why? You have to get off that train! Jump to the van! Furry, hit the brakes! They're not working! And I can't shut down the rockets! What? You idiots! You call this a plan? Oh, I knew this was a bad idea. I knew I should have had you send me back to Paris. Oh, I can't believe it's going to end like this. What in tar nation are they doing? And I was just wondering where that gold had got to. Bentley! Sorry, Murray. This has to work. Hey, that's my necklace. Here goes nothing. As the van hurtled into the ravine, it felt like we were in slow motion. The thought that our adventures were over flashed through my mind as I braced for the crash. Then, in desperation, Bentley grabbed the closest thing at hand, Murray's Australian fossil necklace, and used it in the time machine. He saved our lives. But now, we had no idea where we were headed. We held on as the van was sucked through the wormhole, tumbling around like a cork in the ocean. Who knew where we'd land? And more importantly, when? So hear me out. Could Bentley not have grabbed anything that he knew was from, like, recent times to throw in the machine instead of the prehistoric necklace that Murray wore? Things weren't going very well. We'd landed somewhere, from the looks of it, prehistoric. I was slightly concerned when Bentley broke out the dinosaur repellent, but that was the least of my worries. The crash landing had damaged the van, so the time machine wasn't working properly. Not only was traveling back to Paris impossible, but we couldn't even raise Dimitri on the transceiver. Also, we still had no idea how Le Paradox had managed to develop his own time machine. And that was a scary thought. Carmelita was still really hot about things. I just wanted a chance to explain, to tell her how sorry I was for getting her mixed up in all of this. Before we had a chance to talk, she stormed off in a rage. I tried going after her, but... I figured that wasn't the best idea. Our conversation would have to wait, at least until she holstered that pistol. We decided the first order of business was figuring out where and when we were. And then, how we were going to repair the van. Otherwise, we'd have to get used to living in a cave, permanently. Sly Cooper and the gang in Clan of the Cave Raccoon. Oh, I love this episode. I love all the episodes in this game. I love this game. I love video games. I love the Sly Cooper franchise. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We can definitely afford the whatchamacallit now. Juggernaut throw, thank you. We're all caught up on buying stuff. The cartoon physics of that? Yeah, where Sly was outside of the the van while going through time and all, but it was apparently fun. Very impressive. I do love the callback of Bentley grabbing the necklace from Murray from because you know Murray did all that Australian dream time training in uh in Sly 3. Remember the guru? I miss the guru. Gonga! Gonga! I'm glad that, you know, we're in big trouble and, like, we need to fix the whatchamacallit and get ourselves out of here and whatnot. But, don't worry. We have time to, uh, carve this little stone marker of our insignia and 
and leave it here. We have time to make snowmen versions of Sly, Bentley, and Murray to ward off evil, I guess. And whatever this snowman is. And just, you know, just have a look. We made multiple of the stones of our out of our uh, logo. We, we got time. You know, there's nothing better to do. May as well have fun with it, right? Goonga, by the way. I quite enjoy the music in this area. Oh, this is the job. I didn't even realize. Bad news just got worse, Sly. Looks like a couple of pieces of the time drive broke off in that crash landing. I need you to track down the missing components ASAP. Fortunately, the advanced trajectory management processor is still functional, so I was able to calculate their most likely positions. Unfortunately, they seem to have landed in some dangerous terrain. The temporal sprocket appears to have fallen close to some pterodactyl nests, and I'm afraid one of these prehistoric penguins might have gotten its flippers on the gravity encabulator. Oh, they may look cute, but those little devils are nasty. This isn't going to be a simple pickup, Sly. Get some photos of their precise locations, and I'll analyze them to formulate a plan. But watch your back. I don't think we're the first guests at this party. See the structure on that mountain? It appears to be some kind of conveyor belt system. Definitely not Ice Age technology. Get a picture of that machinery, too. I smell a rat. Or possibly something even worse. Dude, I love prehistoric penguins. Bentley, uh, have you heard anything from Carmelita? Sorry, Sly. I think maybe she just needs to cool off. For what it's worth, I'm just as worried about Penelope. I know, pal. And we're gonna get her back. I promise. Gunga? Gunga? Look at this mammoth. All right, probably just irreparably damaged the timeline by murdering that guy who probably wouldn't have died otherwise. You ever think about all the people that we've murdered and how we've like irrevocably changed time in some way by doing so? Like especially this far back in time? Like there's, there's no telling who we just stopped from existing and how their not existing led to other people not meeting one another and potentially having children together, and that stops even more things from existing, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, so on and so forth. Yo, look, it's Diego from Ice Age. Gimme. Also, apparently these guys have a concept of money. Thanks for the amber fossil. The Sly Cooper franchise must be predated on the concept that the universe you live in exists because of whatever happened in time travel. That was weird. Can I not land on... You know what, just do this. Yeah, I'm a gamer. I thought I could land on the barrel, but I don't think it let me. I want this guy's shiny thing. Oh, hi. They are really mad that I got that bottle. You know what, you can you can keep the shiny thing. I'm moving on. Whoop. Do you mean multiverse theory? No, I mean like, uh, it could also be that. But, uh, that's like, that's how Dragon Ball Z does it, I think. Look at that. It's the first wheel. But, uh, I mean, like, the idea that doing time travel changes nothing because the fact that you time traveled is why the world existed the way it did in the first place. I don't know how better to explain this. So basically, like, before you time traveled, the universe already exists the way it does because you time traveled back and did whatever you were going to do in the past. So it doesn't change anything because the reason your life was the way that it was was because of what you did in the past already. I really don't know any other franchise that has done it that way that I can remember off the top of my head or if there's a word for this style of time travel. And I also don't know how to explain it better. 
But I know I've heard this, like, style of time travel before. Oh, this is a slidey bit. 